The Lagos State Task Force, in collaboration with the Lagos State Ministry of Justice, have auctioned 134 forfeited and abandoned vehicles at the task force compound in Alausa, Ikeja. The auction exercise, which took place on Thursday, witnessed members of the public trip out in numbers to participate in the sale of vehicles which were confiscated for various traffic offences, ranging from driving on one way to willfully to willful obstruction of traffic across various parts of the state. Speaking to newsmen at the event, Chairman of the Lagos State Task Force, CSP Shola Jejeloye, enlightened members of the public that traffic offence is not a criminal offence, urging offenders who have been arrested to have the boldness and confidence to face the mobile court. Also speaking at the auction, coordinator of the Lagos State Special Offences Mobile Court, Ariola Ogbara Banjoko, who described the exercise as seamless and well organized, disclosed that all 134 vehicles on display had gone through due process of the court of law before being forfeited to the state government for varying offences. Most of the vehicles here have been I've been in the yard for more than a year. And that was why I said in my address that if you committed a minor offense, be bold to come. There are some abandoned vehicles here. For goodness sake, 25,000 naira fine, 30,000 naira fine. That is what they need to pay. But because of lack of information and fear, they will run away. Driver will run away, will not go to the owner. The owner will not know the whereabouts of his vehicle. I will give you an example. There is, uh, there is a company that their vehicle committed an offense over a year ago and they don't know the whereabouts of the vehicle. What was the offense? Obstruction. When they came to me, I had to investigate and they actually thought it was one way. They wanted to come and beg us for one way. But when they came, I said, this offense is not one way. You go to court, I will tell them the offense committed. And they paid the fine. Nobody is having interest in forfeiting another man's vehicle. We are in this position today. We will go back to the public tomorrow. So anybody could be. So that is why we always try to follow it the way it is. We have 134 vehicles for auctioning today. Anyway, out of the 134, we have tricycles that drove on one way as well. And they are being, those ones should be about 10. So we have vehicles in different categories, about 124, and tricycles, about 10 of them. You know, right now, um, this has been taken over by the Minister of Justice. It's actually conducted solely by the Minister of Justice. And um, we did interviews and we appointed a proper professional auctioneer. You know, so we went through the, we, we, are, we are doing it properly, going through all the proper procedures. Have been, all the procedures have actually been put in place. The, pro the registration properly start, started on Monday. You know, so we had uh, like a three days before now, and everybody, or, you know, they, they allowed everybody to start coming in, view the cars, you know, you know, do, um, try to see whatever they want and all that, you know, and then they go and register. If they've seen anything, they register, you know, and we, we do proper registrations with their IDs, so we, we can also do a follow-up afterwards.